Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add effects to parts. So I'm going to do an example so you, you know um, when you could use these effects. So the fire effect you could use it in a car crash and you want to make it look like more realistic. The smoke effect the same thing. Car crash. Um, there's a fire, but not visible because it's trapped inside the engine. Uh, and, and other effects, but yeah. Alright, so first what you want to do is just grab any part. Basically just anything. Like, look, we even go here. Um, I think... Well, you can just get a part from up here in here. Go to model, part... I'll just do this. Part, block. Now, I'm going... Alright, so I'm going to show you how you can use these effects. So say that um, you have a vehicle which just got bombed by a plane up in the sky. You want to make it look realistic like that. See that this vehicle got bombed. Hold on. Skip to this. Skip to this part if you want to know how to add the effects. I'm just doing examples. See that this vehicle got bombed. Which one would you believe more? This Humvee that has a torpedo connect bomb in it and an engine bay with no effects, or this. This has plenty of effects, except for the fact that the car's not exploded. I don't know. But, in order to make it look realistic, you want to get a part, and just put it inside where you want it. And if you don't even want it being seen, um, go to your view, I think. Go to your and then click on properties and click on transparency one. This will make your block invisible, like invisible. I think that's what they call it. All right, all right one. Put them inside the engine. Put it, and then you can go and click on your part. Click on the shield plus. Go all the way down till you will see effects. Now you can add many effects. Um, later. On particle emitter, you could basically make it do rain or snow. The reason why I said rain is because if you go to particle emitter, you could. Could... Oh yeah, the texture. That's why you could go here, choose file, and basically to get an image of a raindrop. Or something like that. You know, I'm a, I'm a doing image. I'm a doing image of my lawnmower. Does it have fun with it? All right. Um, let's copy and paste this. Move it to the side. Well, it's rain. Oh, you can do tacos, dogs and cats. It's rain or whatever. Let's move this. And then you could add fire. Now this, I think, no, yeah, yeah, turn it up. It, it has no gravity. Fire has no physics. Kind of. All right. So you click on a fire. Well, heat. The more heat you add, the more damage it's going to do to the player. So if you do 100, the player's 25 is maximum. But yeah, and it also gets a lot more. Hotter and brighter and bigger, but and you could also do the size. So if I do 100, it's gonna be a big, big bullet. It's gonna look like a fireball. And then you could also add smoke. You can add more particles if you want, but these are just um, the particles I'm doing for this bit. Smoke. You could do size, rise, and time. Oh, opacity. Basically, how thick it is. Let's do 100. Very, you cannot see it. It's like a smoke bomb from Fortnite. Oh, if you use 0.1, it's very thin and a whiskey. Oh, 
um, size 100, I think, no, oh, that's a bit, yeah, so basically this is how you can make fog, but I would not recommend this way, as there's really no way as you can set a timer or a random period of time for it to go back and on, and plus you're going to have to put a lot of these on, like way too much, a lot of smoke, cut, I'm breathing too hard. <laughs> but yeah, that'll basically be it for this video. But to make sure I got everything, I'm gonna do another thing. Alright, so. You have fire, smoke, yeah, particle in there. What's, yeah, what's that? And then basically change it. Add one to a part. Click on the fire. And two really main things you do is size and opacity or heat, depending on what your element is. But yeah, this one has a script, so that's why it looks so realistic and goes towards a certain way, I believe. Let me see if I'm correct. Oh, am I correct? Yes. Ah, whatever. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's add all these together to make it look like uh, it has been bombed. Like in the beginning of the video, like I said. Size 50. Uh, too big. Uh, more centers. I wonder if we don't need it too good. All right, um, get this. Make it rain cats and dogs. Nah. Uh, nah. Uh, we need that. But we can add another part. Let's go delete this car. Control D and C. This part we get add smoke. And yeah, that is how you make a realistic. Now, of course, this is a simple way of how to make um, smoke and fire. And there will be more s other ways to make it look more realistic. But this is just like the starter ones. If you're a starter starting out, and this is one of the easiest ways you could do it to, you know, make your game at least a bit more realistic and better. Well, yeah. I'll be ending it off with that. If you have any comments below, I will try to answer them. Which I hasn't, haven't been doing because I got, I basically forgot about all you guys, which I should have had. I was doing so good, but, man, I was going to check my nigga. Alright, right. uh, that'll be ending it on this video. Oh my god, that's a long video. Alright, bye-bye.